Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy V! Well, we've gotten all the treasure here in the Wind Shrine, so let's take a look at the crystal now. Well, that was easy. Oh, well, the crystal's still good, it's just in a few pieces now. Hey, what's going on, man? Now remember this, that location for future reference viewers, or well, all of these locations. And Ferris inherits the spirit of fire, courage, because well, he's a pirate, so, you know. Gotta take a lot of courage to be a pirate. Yeah. By the way, these elements that we're inheriting mean absolutely nothing. They give them to us, and then it's like, oh, yeah, we kind of forgot about that. I don't know why they're bothering with this, but whatever. You're going to put your hope of the earth in a guy who is an amnesiac? Okay. What? Who said that? Kind of looks like Golbez, except with a lighter color robe. Hi, Mr. Tycoon. I've come to fondle your daughter. I, I mean, put her up for ransom. Oh, well, that's not good. Yeah, I haven't heard that one before. Well, what's going on? Oh. Oh, kind of hard to put up ransom to a guy who just runs away like that, or he's a ghost, or something. I don't know. Hey, what's happening to the crystal pieces? Or crystal shards, they sometimes refer to them as. Sorry, Ferris, you don't get any crystal shards. Oh, we get some job classes. Hooray! Just like in Final Fantasy III. I'll have to go over those soon enough. Okay, well, let's get out of here, and I guess now we need to save the other three crystals before they shatter. Your father's gone. You're, you're in charge now. Or would it be the Chancellor since she's not... Well, is she an adult? I, I'm going to assume that she's a teenager like all other Final Fantasy games almost. So, basically, the Crystals chose a blundering traveler, an amnesiac, a pirate, and a princess to save the world. Great job! No, I don't want to talk to the Chocobo about the job classes. Okay, well, I just want to take a quick pause break before I go over the job classes, so I'll be right back. Okay, so let's take a look at the job classes. Now, in order to use them, you have to select the job submenu. So let's take a look at that. And, uh, now, unlike Final Fantasy III, there's no capacity BS for switching job classes. You can basically switch job classes at will. I could be a knight and switch to a white mage at any point in time. Let's look, go back and take a look at our stats here. Now, you see the basic stats on the right there, like strength and agility. Well, unlike previous Final Fantasy games, those do not increase when you gain a level. Uh, instead, the game calculates a lot of things based on your level itself. Uh, the way your stats do increase, though, is primarily by switching job classes, although there's some equipment that can boost your stats, but it's really quite negligible. Uh, for example, switching to, like, a monk will greatly increase your strength stat. Uh, HP and MP will also change depending on your job class. Also, unlike Final Fantasy III, uh, you can see on the bottom there, we've ditched the skill levels 
and now we have job level. So you can see at the bottom where it says level zero, uh, like let's say here, for level zero for a knight. And he has zero out of ten ability points for that level. When, at the end of a battle, you'll now gain some ability points. And when you gain enough of them, you'll gain a job level and learn a new ability. Now these abilities can be equipped as a secondary ability. Uh, you can do that in the ability submenu. I, I can't show that to you now because I haven't learned any yet. But uh, like for example, if I spent some time as a white mage to learn level one white magic, then I could switch to a knight and equip that ability. So I could have a knight who could use white magic. Uh, some stats will also carry over, like with that ability, like uh, in that example, uh, some of the white mage's magic power will carry over to the knight, but not entirely for now. Now there's essentially three types of job classes in the game. There's the heavy armor job classes, like the knight, basically wields a sword, and hacks and flashes at anything. It also covers allies who are at, uh, at critical condition. And then you also have the light armor job classes, like the monk and the thief. The monk is basically the strongest, or, well, he has the most strength of any job class in the game, fights with well with his fists. He can also counterattack 50% of the time. The thief can steal items in the game. And then you have the robe wearing classes like the black and white mage. Uh, they use white and black magic. Pretty simple. Uh, kind of like World of Warcraft, you know, you got the three different tiers of armor sets, you know. Now the blue mage is sort of a combination. They can equip both robes and light armor. And there's other exceptions to the rule, but um, we'll go over that when we get there. Uh, also, of the mages, there's two different kinds. There's those that can equip stabs, like the white mage, and those that can, can equip rods, like the black mage. Although, sometimes with other job classes in the game, they, they'll overlap as well. Now, for this Let's Play series, I will be limiting each class to be used by only one character. Uh, to, that'll help, you know, create some variety and make the game a little more challenging, try and keep this remotely entertaining. And uh, it can... Oh, uh, what is it? Oh, yeah. Also, I won't be using the normal job class in the game because, well, it can equip any equipment in the game, really, and you can use two secondary abilities. Uh, also, whenever you master a job class, its stats will then carry over to the normal job class. So, like, I could master Monk to get a lot of strength and, and HP. Uh, let's say master Black Mage, get a lot of magic power, and then use the normal job class to have a lot of HP, strength, and magic power. Uh, I could also do that with Thief to have really high agility. I mean, it can get quite ridiculous. So, um, that can really break the game. I'm not going to be taking advantage of that. I'm not going to be using the normal job class for the rest of the game. Now, also in this Let's Play series, I will be doing zero ability grinding. So, whatever ability points I get, it's going to have to come from my random battles throughout the game. And finally, there's the Blue Mage job class. A new job for the Final Fantasy series. Uh, as long as a Blue Mage is the target of certain attacks that monsters can use. Not everything, but there's certain ones that um, you can get. Um, as long as your blue mage is the target of it and he or she is alive at the end of the battle, you'll learn that ability. I'll be going over how to learn each and every one of those abilities throughout the game. Uh, sometimes I'll skip the first time you can learn them because it's really difficult, but for the most part, I'll try to learn them as early as possible. So now I'm going to switch my job classes around and my equipment and be right back. Voila! Here we are. We've got our job classes set up, so let's take a look at that. Uh, first things first, though. Uh, in order to, let's say, switch your rows, like Lena, I want to be in the back row because she's a white mage. So you press left to get over here. You can also switch your party's positions like that. Um, but to switch rows, you just hit the A button twice, and there you go. But she's the only one I want in the back row for now. Now, the way my characters are going to be used, primarily throughout the game, Bart's is going to be my heavy armor user, like knights. Um, that won't be always be the case, but for the most part. Ferris is going to be my light armor user, like monk. Uh, I want to learn an ability for the monk, but then I eventually want to switch over to the thief, because the thief has far more interesting abilities to learn, even though the monk can deal more damage. Uh, Lena is going to be my white mage. you got to have a healer. It's pretty useful there. And Galif, I'm temporarily making into a blue mage, so that way he can learn some abilities. But, or some, well, some blue magic, that is. 
but eventually I'm going to switch him over to the Black Mage so he can have more attack magic. Uh, really, the Blue Mage is kind of lacking early game. It becomes more useful later on as you get more and more blue magic there. Let's take a look at the equipment real quick. Bart's, I gave everything. Uh, Ferris, I also gave everything, because those two are really going to stay in the front row there, so they need all the armor they can get. And then uh, I gave the staff just because. The problem with staffs is that their damage is pretty random. Uh, same thing with rods, too, so I just gave it to her just because I had nothing better. And Gallif, I gave all this stuff. Uh, eventually, once he's a black mage, I'll also want to put him in the back row there. So now our task is to protect the water crystal, so we're going to have to find a way to get over to the Kingdom of Wars next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy V! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.